Good morning, Mass Bond staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Tuesday B Day announcements, upcoming events, students. All right, this Thursday, quarter one grades close on out. So, students, all right, handle your business as we push towards the end of the first quarter. First quarter, pretty much already done. That's crazy. Wednesday, the 22nd, students, that is the day before Thanksgiving. That is students and staff, a half day for all of you, 11.04 a.m. Early dismissal. We'll do grab and go lunch at the end of the day. Hey, I'm just going to applaud that because that's nice having a half day on that day. All right. Thursday and Friday, as we know, is Thanksgiving break. Monday, the 27th, they're following is the quarter one report card conferences. That's a full day event. Students also an evening event from four to six. <clears throat> Information will go out to your family soon on that. And then finally, just to put this on the radar firmly, okay, Thursday, December the 14th, which seems like a long time from now, but trust me, it's not, is the college and career fair. And students are number one priority as educators always in mass is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. That means reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems. We are here to support you. All right. This week is... Quarter one, academic excellence, spirit week, yes. All right, what does that consist of? Well, yesterday was build the future day, dress as the career you want. Today is character day, dress as your favorite book or movie character. All right, that's pretty good. That's probably going to bring some really creative things today. Tomorrow is uh, Wednesday. It is also nerd day dress like a nerd maybe i'll win nerd day by accident because i'm not trying to be a nerd but maybe students will say mr line you're just a nerd always so you know i'll be an outfit for that day thursday is student teacher swap day i'm kind of excited about this one all right students dress like teachers and teachers dress like students and then friday is battle of the grades day Ninth wears green, 10th wears gray, 11th wears purple, and 12th wears red. All right. Winter sports, courtesy of our athletic director, Coach Calamag, they start on Friday. The first day of the PIAA winter sports season is this Friday, November the 17th. You, have, you must have a PIAA physical on file to try out for either the boys or girls basketball team if you still don't have a physical get one quick don't miss out on an amazing opportunity to continue the mass bond rebuild to that end girls basketball from miss harrington calling all ladies interested in playing basketball this year starting monday november the 20th we will begin tryouts we will meet at 2 50 p.m in the 122 gym so we can start at three make sure you come with appropriate clothes to work out in don't forget your sneakers, no jeans. We will go until 4.30. <clears throat> Additionally, if you want to shoot around and practice a little before Monday, then come to an open gym this school this week after school. Make sure that your physical is complete because you will not be allowed to participate without it. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Harrington in room 324. You can hear that. Mr. Lon's dog, Joy, is very excited by girls' basketball starting back up. Also, another exciting thing, girls' flag football, something brand new to Mass Bomb, is an official PIAA emerging sport. Fun facts. Three years, <coughs> the PPL has grown to support 32 uh, girls' flag football teams at the middle school and high school level. Flag football will make its debut in the 2028 LA Olympics. Now, that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm excited for that. Mass Bomb has been put on the list to have a team this spring. Interested? Stop by Coach Calamag's room, 308, after school this Wednesday, November the 15th. Okay? So, girls, if you are interested in the flag football uh, learn-to-play clinic, okay, you can join the Google Classroom right there. Students, take out those laptops if you are interested in uh, the flag football league 
or stop by room 104, Mr. Constance, or 308 Coach Kalamak. Sign up for the Philadelphia Eagles Girls Flag Football Learn to Play Clinic. We talked about this briefly yesterday. The Battle of the Floors Decorating Contest. Wonderland Edition. All right. All floors. Floors one through six. That's a whole lot of floors. All right. It's a big thing. It's going to be a big thing at Mass Bomb. I personally am very happy that I am on Dr. Hayward and Miss Bacon's team. Seal of Biliteracy meeting is today after school. All right. With Mr. Zwalak in room 612. So students, if you are interested in the Seal of Biliteracy, if being bilingual or trilingual is your superpower, please stop by today after school in room 612. Bring your laptop. There's also going to be pizza there. That always helps, right? Students already know about Yonder. Joy, be quiet, please. Students, you know about the Mass Bomb Social Wellness Group. You know about the Student Success Center open today before school, open during lunch periods, open after school. In the way of clubs today, we have the Gay Straight Alliance with Mr. King. Okay, Joy's being very bad. She's usually been good in the morning announcements lately. I don't know why she's being so bad today. I don't know why. With Mr. King from 245 to 345 and 605, we have the word spoken aloud with Dr. Hayward during advisory. Okay, room 410, 730 to 8. We have the running club, all right? There was a, a, a running event over the week at, at Penn Treaty Park, I believe it was, all right, where there was like awesome sneakers handed out to the members. We have the Bomb <coughs> Literary Magazine Club with meeting with Miss Linscombe today after school in 617. Also, you can meet with Miss Linscombe today after school for the Drama Club. Students, you remember about the effort checklist. Students, you know about PBIS points, and you know about Cooth, and you know about Chromebook repairs and social media, and you know that this is Gratitude Month. So to that end, we have four good ones today. Nurse Chris would like to thank her four senior residents, Antoinette smith Bethea, Rosabel Lazaro, Dakira Carr, and Ray Yellies torres Thank you, ladies, for all of your hard work this school year in helping with screenings and senior activities. It is very much appreciated. Dr. Hayward is thankful for Serenity McClendon for her consistent morning meet greetings and overall positive outlook on life. Ms. Bacon is thankful for Natalie and Dennis's drive and motivation towards her future endeavors. She has been on top of her game when applying to colleges and has a list of acceptances already. It's like a long list. It keeps getting longer of acceptances. Great job, Natalie, and keep up the hard work. And Mr. Trainer is thankful for Brandon Rash for his positivity, fist bumps, and saying good morning on a consistent basis. Hey, Nurse Chris, Dr. Hayward, Ms. Bacon, and Mr. Trainer, thank you for those morning announcement gratitude share outs. They're great. Finally, staff and students, let's close out as we do. We're not going to break the 10-minute mark today. That's good. Trimming some time off the morning announcements. We're Miss Bomb. We build the future. Have a great Tuesday.